of these. How are you today? Today is already October. What? <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, so today is the first day of the Movie Marquee Challenge with Heather the Crochet Witch, October. So... <laughs> October is Heather's pick and if you don't know what I'm talking about there's a playlist down below that will explain everything but basically what it is is every month for the whole year Heather and I pair off um, each month and we pick a movie out of a hat or out of a cauldron in her case and um, we show you the movie poster and then we pick all the colors that we want out of the movie poster and we make something so yeah, um, so <laughs> Heather, Miss Heather, hello. Uh, Heather did her her picking, and yeah, I I'm actually kind of excited about this one. Um, she chose Lord of the Rings, but. I'm not too sure which Lord of the Rings she's actually going to go with, but I think it's this one. Um, so as you can see, there's beiges and blacks and grays and like ominous colors. So that is right up my alley. <sighs> yes. Okay. So. What I've decided is, I'm, you guys are like, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, that's a little better. Um, so, whoops, now you're crooked. Sorry. <laughs> um, so what I've decided to do is make another sweater. I know, shocking. <laughs> so, since it's October, uh, so I am... I can't show you one of the yarns because I haven't picked it up from Michael's yet. I put in an online order and um, George is going to go pick it up for me uh, later today. But I can show you the other stuff I'm going to be. I've already started to do it because I was so excited. Uh, I am I'm going to be using Bernat Premium in black. And oop, doo -doo, where is it? Mainstay Sparkle. And this color is is somewhere. Oh, isn't that pretty? The other color that I have that I'm actually, you know what? I'll put a picture here. So it's the, it's got all the greens and, um, white, the, the whites and all that, that I need. So I'm really hoping that that's going to work out. Kind of winging it. So, yeah. So I got it started and, <laughs> you know, if it's not one thing, it's another. It's either I make it too big or not big enough. So I started with this whoops and I did 150 um, chains but I think it's gonna be okay I think this is gonna go down to between my waist and my butt I think I think I wanted it to be longer I wanted it to be more of a cardigan I would have had to do 200 stitches for that probably but I didn't <laughs> I didn't so that's how big it is we'll see how it goes so the way I'm constructing this is I'm going this way I'm gonna hopefully be doing it all in one piece front and back so this is the front and this is the back so it goes over like that okay 
So if you wanted to make something like this with me, great. Uh, basically, all you need to do is measure top to bottom, like from your shoulder to wherever you want it to land. Okay. Um, and then you do a chain that is that length. Okay. But make, make it about an inch shorter than the actual size, like the actual, um, width. Oh, words, Sandy. Words. <laughs> Make it a little shorter than what the measuring tape says because this will probably grow a little bit. Um, so yeah, and then just start doing your chains. Or I mean your um, double crochets. Okay. I'm doing, I did two rows of double crochet in the black. And then I did a row of... What the heck is this stitch called? Cluster stitch? I think it's the cluster stitch. It's, um, you start your double crochet, but you don't finish it. You just pull through the two, not the three. And then you go back in and you pull up your loop and you pull it through two. Then you go back in, you pull up a loop, you pull through two, and then you pull through all of them. And then you chain one, I think. <laughs> uh, and then you skip, skip one, skip one here. Then you go into the next and you do that again. Skip one, do the next. And that's all you do. Now, this next row, I'm thinking I'm going to do from this point on, I'm going to do three rows of black. And then the color. Oh, um, you do do this uh, the cluster stitch, and then you go back and you do a row of um, single crochets on top of that. Then you start your next row. Does that make sense, you guys? I know you guys are gonna say, "Can you do a tutorial?" So, um, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so that's pretty much all I did. Um, now I'm just going to do the three rows of black. And then I'm going to do the next color when I get it. Um, the reason why I'm doing three rows of black is so that when I get to the middle of my back, because you're going to go this way, right? And then, so you're going to measure from here to here, figure out how wide you want it. And then you ha half it, half that number. Okay, that's going to be the very middle of your back. When you get to the very middle, when you get to that number, um, then I do something. I only do half a row. Like you, you half the number from here to here. You do half and it'll come up to here. And then you chain. Uh, I'll explain it when I get to that part. <laughs> I actually have a tutorial on my channel on in my playlist that explains all that in detail um i'll i'll leave a link down below for that tutorial um i don't i don't know if it's this stitch or not i'll have to see but i do have a playlist with tutorials for new people that are on my channel hello thank you for joining me um I do have a playlist with all the tutorials that I've done thus far. So, yeah. Oh, and I'm also using a 5.5 hook. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. I, I'm i hoping that this is going to go fairly quickly. Uh, and then I, I'm going to do the arms, hopefully, in a flat panel. And I also have a tutorial that explains how to do that as well. So, yeah. Uh, what else? Oh, um, go check out Heather's channel. Uh, I'm uh, She's going to do a blanket, but I don't know what kind of blanket she's going to be doing. And I don't know what yarn she's going to be using. 
So this, when she puts out her next video, she'll probably be explaining all that. Um, and yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what she comes up with for this blanket. The last blanket, spectacular. Oh my Lord. It was so nice. It was so nice. Um, I, oh, man, I, I can't believe how pretty it was. Like it was, I mean, I can believe it because she's just a whiz when it comes to blankets, but the color, like she was doing like a, um, peaks and valleys. And I think she was expecting the, the one row of black to be more solid, but it came out kind of checkered and it just, it added something to the blanket. It was so cool. And then when she did the the border, it just popped. And I was like, wow, it was so pretty. So yeah, go check that out. Her link is always down below. Um, and yeah, I think that's everything. I think that's all. I'm still kind of, I should be like here, not here. I don't know what's happening with my camera. <laughs> I have to fix what's going on back here. Holy cow, it's driving me nuts. So here's the the cakes with all of my stuff from last month. Or yeah, from last month's sweater. So yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I will talk to you later. Thanks for joining me and stay tuned for next week where I will have a lot more of this done. And I will show you what uh, what it looks like. Okay. I will talk to you guys later. I love you all.